If you're looking to learn how to edit and create cinematic videos, then you have come to the right place. Because today I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step process on how we edit our videos using Final Cut Pro so that by the end of this video, you can start creating your own cinematic masterpiece. So first thing first, you need to import what you should into the computer. So I'll always recommend everyone to get an SSD hard drive because your footage is gonna take out a lot of space. And if you're importing your footage into the computer, your computer's not gonna have a lot of space left. So I do recommend everyone getting an SSD hard drive for you to store your footage in. So once I put my card in, I'm just gonna put in my hard drive as well. We're using the footage from a recent like commercial shoot that we did for a pizza restaurant. So therefore in the photo, we're just gonna create Arthur's Pizza. And then we're gonna create another folder called footage. And we're just gonna drag all of it in. So the next thing you wanna do is to open up Final Cut Pro. So when you open up Final Cut Pro, you wanna first create a new library. Put it in the folder that you have created. So in this case, we created Arthur's Pizza. So therefore we're gonna put the library in the folder and then we're gonna name it Arthur's Pizza. And before you start importing, I want you guys to go to settings and go to the tab import all right with files i want you to put leave files in place and that's about it the next thing you want to do is to import the footage so remember we've imported the footage into artist pizza so we're going to click command all to select all of them and we're going to drag it into import media So once you've imported all your footage into Final Cut Pro, the next thing you wanna do is to create a new project. So what you do is you go file and create new project. So video one, and then leave this as it is. So in this tab, you can actually change what resolution you want your video to be. You can choose any resolution here. But obviously, if you want the video to be in 4K, you want to choose the 4K option. If you want the video to be in 1080, then you choose the 1080 option. And what's really good about Final Cut Pro is that they also provide you with the option of having it as a vertical video, where you can use the video as Facebook Reels or Instagram Reels or even YouTube Reels as well. With rendering, you can just leave it as ProRes and everything else, just leave it as default. So here we go, we've created our first project and as you can see, a timeline appears here. What I'm gonna show you next is I'm gonna show you how I put my footage onto the timeline. So the first thing you wanna do is to go to edit, click on insert generator and click on gap. And you can see that there's the gray box over here. What you wanna do is to go to the right end of this gray box, click and hold and then drag it out. And then what I'm gonna do is to put my mouse over one of the shorts and then just drag it into the timeline. And let me drag this one as well. So essentially the shorts in your timeline creates your video. And I'm also gonna show you how to add music, tags and graphics as well. Now, do you notice the wavelengths at the bottom of your shorts? That's basically the sound of the footage. And how you get rid of this audio component is that you hover your mouse over that thin line and click and just drag it down. Now, the next thing I wanna teach you is how to cut up each shot. And it is really easy. All you gotta do is to go to either the left side or the right side of the shot, click and hold and just drag it. Say I don't like the start of this shot, so I want the shot to start over here. So I'm just gonna Press spacebar to the point where I think it should start. Click the end and just drag it. So as you can see here, I've successfully cut the shot. So just focusing on this shot, you can see that it's going rather quickly and it's like really shaky as well. The good thing is we shot this in a hundred frames. Now what it means is that we can actually slow it down to 25% of its original speed. How you do slow motion for a shot is go to this button right here. So go to slow, because I shot in 100 frames, I could slow it down to 25%. If you only shot it in 50 frames, you can slow it down to 
if you shot it at 25 frames then unfortunately you can't slow down the shot at all this is what it looks like when i slowed it down to 25 percent you see how when you slow it down it becomes less shaky now if you want to stabilize it even more you want to go to this icon here click it so what this shows is the properties of the shot all right you got opacity which you can adjust the opacity of the shot you got transform as well where you can adjust the scale of the shot and then you also got the crop function where you can crop the shot anywhere from the right side left side top or bottom now there's also a stabilization option which once you click it it will take some time for it to apply the stabilization so see so now that it's applied i'll play the video again look how stabilized it is compared to the original shot that we had the next thing i want to show you is how to put in your background music so what you're going to do is go back to folder and get a music file you can put it anywhere i would like to put it into the folder as well i'll just put it right over here and after that i would just drag it into the tab and as you can see here you have successfully imported your background music into final cut pro and what you're going to do is you're going to drag that and put it at the bottom of the timeline now one mistake a lot of beginners would make is that they would just use the first part of the song because they can't be bothered to listen to the rest of it instead you want to listen to the whole song and then select the part you think will fit your video the best so i really like this part of the song where it goes that's a very sexy start so i'm gonna use it and then also think of how you're gonna end the video which part of the song you want to end the video with i like the part of the song where it just fades out here and that's where i'm gonna end the video so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna cut the song so i want it to end right here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click the song file and click command b so that it cuts and i'm just gonna get rid of this part beautiful so now that i've put in the song i'm actually gonna start putting together the video and before i move on to the next step i do want to tell you about a new final cut pro editing course that we're launching soon if you're interested please sign up for the waitlist link in the description down below so in this short amount of time i've put together a promo video that goes well with the music and somewhat tells a bit of a story as well if you notice something about my footage is that they all look very faded very desaturated that's because i shot in log picture profile what a lot of you guys will be shooting in is rack 709 which won't look anything like this because the colors would already be nice and vibrant once i put in the conversion light from log to rack 709 it does look more like the footage that you would normally get now i'm gonna start teaching you how to color correct and what color correcting means is that some of your shots may be overexposed that means too bright or underexposed which means it's too dark so when we're color correcting we're kind of adjusting exposure so that it is kind of not too bright and not too dark it is correctly exposed and in color correcting as well we would also be adjusting white balance so if the white balance isn't right for your shot you would adjust it to the correct white balance during this color correction process so go to these three dots over here open it up go to this icon right over here and you can see four dots over here now i don't want to get too much into this because we are going to do a color correcting and color grading video in the future and we will go more in depth into it but for beginners what you really want to adjust is probably the overall exposure of the shot so you're going to be using this left button so you can see here this shot i think it's slightly overexposed so i'm just going to bring it down a little so that it looks more natural and more cinematic so this shot is a little bit too bright for my liking as well so i'm just gonna click on it and go to exposure and just drag it down that's good all right now i didn't really have to adjust any of the white balance because 
all the white balance were correct for my shot. But if the white balance in your shot is wrong, then I'm gonna teach you how to adjust it right now. Click over here and go to color wheels. And what you do in color wheels, underneath you can see the temperature tab. All you gotta do is just either go left, which makes it more blue, or go right, which makes it more orange. And then you got tint as well. When you go left, it makes it more green. And when it goes right, it makes it more purple. And the next thing I wanna teach you is how to add text into your videos, right? So you wanna go to this icon here and go to build in. So all of these boxes are text with different animations. I just like custom, because custom comes with no animations whatsoever. When you put in the text box on top of your footage, you can see it kind of like just pops up in the shot itself. Say for this shot, I want it to say simply delicious. And I'm gonna change the font to Ebony next because that is, that is a pretty good font. And on the right side, you can change it to the different format of the fonts. For me, I do like Demi Bold. This is a pretty premium looking text to use. And then I do want to show you how to add in a logo as well. So I do have the Arthur's Pizza's logo here. So what I'll normally do is I'll just drag it to the end of the timeline. So as you can see, the logo is a bit big at the moment. So what we're going to do is click on it, go to properties and use the scale to scale it down. Because the logo has a white background, but you're scaling it down, you're kind of left with a lot of black space around it. So what you do is, again, you go to this text icon over here, and you go all the way down to generators, and under generators, you're going to solids. And click the black custom box and drag it down below the logo. And then click on it and go to this icon over here that says two and you're going to change the color to white beautiful the video is ready to be exported so that is the last step of this editing tutorial all you're going to do to export your video is to click this top right button over here and click export file all right and then you got your info settings and rows so you just got to go to settings for the format click computer video codec leave it as it is and then resolution you could either choose HD or 4k all right because the project is in 4k I do want to export the video in 4k as well to get the maximum resolution so all you're going to do is click next and then it's going to ask you which folder you want to export the video to go to Arthur's pizza and I'm going to click new folder I'm going to click exports because I want to put all my exported video under the export folder. And then I'm just going to click save. So that's it for today. That's everything that you need to know to get you started in Final Cut Pro. So go out there and start making cinematic masterpiece right now. For those of you who's ready to take their videography to the next level, then you need to watch this video next. It's about the four composition tips that you need to create cinematic compositions. If you're new to this channel, click like and subscribe because we release new videos each week that could elevate your videography and take it to a level that you want it to be. Trust me, you don't want to miss them. I'll talk to you next time. Stay focused.